KITV4 Sports. Opening night for the fifth ranked Rainbow Wahine volleyball team. Reigning WAC Player of the Year, Kanani Daniels in with the kill. Hawaii took game one 25 14. Conference Freshman of the Year, Brittany Hewitt. Looking good early, but UCCN San Diego took the second set and the third. Nubi, Chantel Satelli, and Emily Hartong teaming up for a block. Match went five. Hawaii winning 15 9 in the fifth. Danielson dropped 18 kills, Satelli 14. Hartong had nine, and Hewitt had eight winners. Tomorrow, UH versus Kansas State in their four-team tournament. Wildcats swept by UCLA tonight. First match with Mike Seeley as head coach. He's a former Rainbow Wahine assistant. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Epic high school football matchup on the North Shore tonight. Interleague play featuring a pair of unbeatens in St. Louis and Kahuku. Fireworks on the second snap of the game. Crusaders quarterback Marcus Mariota kept it, turned the corner, and took off. That's a 51-yard touchdown. St. Louis grabbed an early 7-0 lead for the Red Raiders. Are potent. Tyrone Brown, 19-yard touchdown. That tied the game at 7. Still in the first. Alfonso Wiley. See ya. 35-yard touchdown. Kahuku's loaded. Blocked two kicks on special teams, including this one by Benetton Fonu in the third. Scooped up for six by Michele Fiso. Red Raiders stop St. Louis 49-27. to Here at KITV4 Sports, we love football Fridays. Let me welcome Jemai Webster and Brandy Higa. Jemai's up first with another interleague battle. Mahalo, girls. Upset. Kamehameha Farrington at Kaiser High School tonight. Girls playing long ball. Jared Haku Ole to Tomah Barrett. 7-0 first quarter. Defending state champs answered. On the first play of the second quarter, Christian Akana to Keanu Hana. Good for 57-yard touchdown. But Farrington won 21-12. <laughs> This is action from the OA's Red Division tonight. Why and I hosting Campbell and the Sabres striking early. Justin Tongo to BJ Hummels turned his Jets on and he was gone. Campbell stopped the C rate Riders 13 to 6. You're watching Friday Night Football on KITV. Go! Oh, look how pretty. Homecoming at Lely Hua tonight, not a wedding. Mules hosting Kapole and the home team on the board first. Keenan Saranaga to Blaine Furtado for six. Lely Hua, their first win on their new turf. 21-7 was the final. And over in OIA White's division tonight, Wailua knocked off Kalani 34-7. Win one for the Bulldogs this season. Your high school football schedule tomorrow night on tap. That's right, Robert. Total of eight games throughout the day, including four interleague matchups. And heads up, everybody. Tomorrow's OIA White Division game between Anue Nue and Kaimuki, scheduled for 7.30 at Kaiser, is off. Nakua down to just 13 players has forfeit, with six players currently hurt or suffering from the flu. Okay, Jemai, Brandy. <laughs> you got it. Mahalo. Kaden. <laughs> Say goodnight, goodnight to Robert, Robert for us. <laughs> Bye. Bye, and keep checking KITV.com. Friday nights at 6. We want to be live in your community, but you're going to have to vote starting Monday to tell us where to go. Be nice. NFL preseason play, Redskins over the Jets, 16-11. Former Kahuku and Utah defensive lineman, Maake Kemoyatu. A tackle and two assists for Washington. Former Warrior, now New York rookie free agent linebacker, Raston Satelli made two tackles. Here's the 3 2. Lifted to a cow at second, and Hawaii beats Georgia on back to back nights and goes to the United States Championship game. After you lose your first game at the World Series on Saturday, could you ever imagine stringing together a run like you're on? Well, you think a head like that, you know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable to, to imagine that. After a rally, from a 4-0 deficit to win their fourth straight elimination game today, while Peel's headed to tomorrow's U.S. championship game at the Little League World Series. West region champs on a remarkable run. 
Today's starting pitcher, Shiloh Baniaga. Intense. By field cut the lead to 4 3 behind Noah Shackle's two run triple in the third. Wild pitch tied it, then they passed the Southeastern champions, never to look back. Baniaga, two run single in the fourth inning, two run triple here in the fifth. Kids from Columbus beat Whitefield six days ago. Redemption yesterday, validation today. 12 5 final, Georgia's out. Texas is next. One of the YPL supporters had a sign that said, Believe. These kids believe they got two more wins left in them? I don't think there's any quit in them. So, yes, absolutely. How good is Texas? Well, they're, uh, they're big, and they got some good arms and some very, very good bats. By Peel versus Texas tomorrow for the U.S. Championship. It'll be broadcast live right here on KITV4 starting at 10 in the morning.